Oh my gosh, I am so, so beyond excited for this video. Like when I say I'm excited, that doesn't even cover the slightest tinge of excitement I am for this video. So I have been hinting at this exact video for a while now on my live streams. I've talked about that big things are happening soon, that's gonna be in a video, and today is finally the day! So, if you read the title, you know that I'm about to get my first ever pet. Now, my family does have two dogs. We have Logan, who's a Cocker Spaniel, and Atlas, who is a mini Aussie. And those are my family's dogs, though, and Atlas is my sister's dog, specifically. And I've never, like, once I moved out of the house, I've never had my very own pet. As you guys know, I've wanted certain types of pets for a very long time, and today, we are getting one! And I want to keep it a surprise on what kind of pet I am getting and I will reveal at the end of the video So please watch the whole thing. Don't skip to the end. Don't do it. I see you. I, I see you being tempted Don't skip to the end watch the whole thing I'm gonna give you clues throughout and I want you to comment down below what you think I'm gonna get once you uh, Figure out for my clues. So first of all, I just want to say that before I have even Went ahead with this video. I did so much research on this particular animal because I wanted to make sure that I knew what I was getting into, that I was going to be a good pet owner, that I was going to be informed about all of my pet's needs, and that I could provide for it. And so I have spent hours of my time researching. I've looked up so many articles, I've watched so many YouTube videos about like the diet and its habitat it needs to be in and how to clean this pet and how to provide enrichment for like literally everything you can think of. I have researched and I feel like I'm as prepared as I can be without actually having the pet in my hands. So with that being said, I made some big girl purchases. This was not an inexpensive pet. And uh, so I just want you to know that in case you ever want this pet too, it is expensive to get up front and even to maintain. So first of all, I'm gonna give you a little haul of some of the things I got. And I'm gonna start off with the most unrevealing things. Okay, so first of all, <clears throat> I am gonna show you this. This is the first thing that I ordered. Most of these things came from Amazon. But we are gonna go to the store after this to PetSmart and grab some more things. So this is a surge protector power strip with a timer because the pet that I need needs exactly 12 hours of heat. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, uh, this is gonna be so hard because literally everything else is really revealing. So here you go, guys. Uh, you, you might know already what it is. So the next thing that I got is Repti Calcium, and this has calcium with the supplement D3, and I also got just calcium without D3 because my pet needs this sprinkled on its food every day. So every day my pet needs this calcium dusted on their food, and then twice a week it needs the calcium plus vitamin D3 with it, because that is important for their diet and their health. Okay, so um, on the same topic as food, what I'm gonna be dusting the stuff on are alive, and I need to pick them up somehow to feed my pet. I think after a while I'll be fine handling these things with my fingers, but in case I ever had someone else who uh, needed to feed my pet and was not okay handling the food, I got these things. So these are little tweezers to pick the food up with, and this is like a little catcher that you just like scoop it and put it in its food bowl. I also got this little bottle of RepdiSafe, which is instant terrarium water conditioner, which is, it just helps get the chlorine out of water for your pet to make sure that the water is safe for it. I also need to get a digital thermo hydrometer, and I'm going to be using a handheld laser thermometer reader. I don't know the exact term. I think it's like a digital one. I think it's called the temperature gun. My family has one of those already, so I gotta go pick it up at their house. But I mostly got this little thingy for the hydrometer because my pet needs to be in um, an environment that's less than 40% humidity, but it does need, I think, around 30% humidity. So this is just gonna tell me if it's okay and at that level. 
to clean the um, enclosure of my pet. I got this super scrub cleaner that helps clean the terrarium and all the stuff inside of it because I, I will have to clean it. Um, I think every other week you go through a deep clean from what I've read or if it just gets really gross. So it even comes with this little cool brush on top. So that's very nice. I also got this heating pad. Um, it's a reptile heating pad that you can put underneath the um, terrarium and it just keeps it nice and warm. And then the last couple of things I got from Amazon were these basking lamps. So this is a Repti basking spot lamp and this is a uh, dimmer that goes over the lamp so I can turn up the wattage or turn it down depending on how hot I want it to be. So those are all the things I ordered online. Now let's go to the vlog clips of me going to the store. All right, everyone, I am at PetSmart. I'm just outside PetSmart, getting ready to go in to buy some more things for my little dude. I'm so excited. But today we have a few things um, to make sure before I get them. I don't know if it's gonna be a girl or a boy yet. We'll see. But I have some packages that I ordered off of Amazon um, for my little pet and it came broken. Anyways, I got this package in the mail and it came shattered. The glass was shattered and I'm returning it because there's no point in me having it. So I have to go into the pet store and replace that item and the item that it came with because it has no use for it anymore. But I'm about to go in and get some decoration and essentials for my little pet. I'll show you what it is. And uh, here's a hint on what type of pet I'm getting. Usually I think you can get them from PetSmart, but I don't think they have any in my pet smart, so I have to go to a special place to pick up my pet. Anyways, let's go inside and get some supplies. So I just got done returning those packages and finishing up at the pet store and oh! I can't even believe this when I tell you guys that I said that PetSmart did not have my pet there. They just got some today. I am so shook. So I either I might pick it up tonight or tomorrow once I have everything set up. But I've got my supplies back there and I'm going to go to a different store to pick up um, the rest of the stuff. And then we'll go set it up together. Oh my gosh, now I'm so excited. I just want to go and get my little dude so bad. But anyways, we got to set everything up first. All right, we are back now from dropping off our UPS packages. So what's inside of those were my UVB lamps, um, which is essential because that's the light um, that helps my certain pet digest their food so it's very important for them if they don't have uvb in their system then uh it's a lot harder for them to digest their food and they can't do it properly so it's very important that i did get one and when mine came in the mail it was shattered so i had to go to the store and buy a new one so i got this one and it's actually a terrarium hood and it comes with the uvb which is super nice and i did get it at a length that is at least two-thirds the length of my terrarium. All right, now what I got from PetSmart. Let's see. So I had to get some things to go inside the terrarium. Obviously, I had to get like a basking rock and some food bowls and some enrichment things for my little pet. So I got this basking rock, which I think is so cool. It can climb up this and go inside to hide if it wanted to. I also got this really cool spider wood. I think um, I found this in the fish section, but a lot of the fish supplies also works for the animal that I'm getting. And it's actually, uh, it's, it's kind of built better because it's made to go underwater. So it's kind of, I don't know, 
has better materials, I guess. Uh, but I thought it was really cool and scraggly. I also got this hanging hammock that it can lay on, and I love the little rope on it. Thought it was very cute, and it kind of matched my aesthetic that I was going for inside the terrarium. Now, I wasn't sure what kind of aesthetic I'm going for. I just kind of picked things up that I think go together, but... It works for just starting out, I feel. I also got this little habitat decor. It has a few little um, fake plants on it and some rocks. And once again, a little hidey hole underneath that it can just explore under. And lastly, I got this um, enrichment ball that you could put uh, little bugs inside. Oop. That's its food. <laughs> so you put bugs inside and it can roll it around and I don't know, just have more fun. Okay, now to the food. I got some awesome stuff that if you guys don't like bugs, you won't like this. But inside of this is mealworms. There's a hundred large mealworms in here. That's kind of gross. And in here I have um, a bunch of large super worms. You can kind of see them on the side. He's saying hello to you. Woohoo! Ew, this one I think is the nastiest. So this is hornworms. And it just looks really gross and sticky. But yeah and then i had to go to a different pet store and i got these dubia roaches oh my goodness so i got a lot of bugs and i have more coming in the mail and um i just got these in the meantime and i have this big tote that i'm going to poke holes in put a lot of cardboard in put some food and water for all of my bugs to store them and to make sure that they stay alive and have a good little habitat themselves. And oh, I almost forgot, I also got these three little bowls for my pet. So one is for bugs, one is for salad, and one will be for water. Okay, so by now you guys probably have a lot of guesses of what kind of pet I am getting. It goes in a terrarium, it eats bugs, it also eats vegetables, it needs a lot of things. Um, <laughs> it needs like a lot of stuff to go inside, but also like a lot of tools like uh, basking lamps and UVB. So a lot of these products that I showed you have my pet on it. So leave your comments down below. But before I get my pet, the next thing I need to do is set up my stand and also my terrarium. Also, just a note, um, for all of my pet owners out there that already have this specific animal, if I am not saying something right or if I am not doing something as I'm supposed to, please let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, this is my first ever pet. I tried my best to do as much research as possible on this, but obviously I could have made some mistakes along the way and I'm still very much learning on this particular animal since I've never owned one before. So if you do own this animal and there are some things that you think I should know, please let me in the comments down below. Oh my goodness. This box is so unbelievably heavy. So this is the like storage thing um, that my terrarium is going to be sitting on top of. <sighs> it took Spencer and I both to get it up the stairs. And I had to like scooch it into the garage when it came here because I just can't lift it by myself. But which is a good sign, which means it's like made of real wood, probably very good materials. I got it off of Wayfair, not sponsored, but this is my first look at it. And I'm gonna try building this up by myself, which is um, a daunting task because I usually have Spencer to help me. So I unboxed it all and there's a lot of pieces. Like this is a whole stack. Then I was looking at this booklet and there's so many instructions. If you know me, you know I hate reading instructions. <laughs> and this just like goes on and on for pages on how to build this thing, so yeah. I'm definitely waiting for Spencer to help me with this one, which means sadly I won't get my pet tonight. But I probably wasn't planning on it because the pet store closes like in an hour anyway, so. Instead, I'm gonna try working on the other project over here, which is the terrarium. So I just got up the stairs. That's why I'm out of breath. 
and I'm just barely unboxing it. I love the color of it. Ooh. Okay, I, I've been doing it. I've been following the instructions. It's not done, but I want to show you my progress thus far. Actually, I'm not gonna move it because it's kind of heavy. It's not as heavy as like the stand that it goes on. But I wanted to show you that I could actually do it and I didn't need help. So anyways, I am just tightening the screws on this. And yeah, I'll have a little um, montage of me finishing assembling this terrarium. Confused. It is officially all assembled. That took me a little bit of time, but this is what it's looking like. So this part took me a long time because I was like, how are you supposed to open up the like the terrarium if it's like this lock here? But that's exactly what it is. It's a lock that you're supposed to take out so that your pet doesn't escape. And then you can use these doors to slide it open or close. So that was the whole point of that. It took me forever to figure out. But what I just noticed, guys, is that this is like a plastic wood composite kind of thing. So it's water resistant, but not waterproof. So if my pet pees and it gets on this, um, that would probably be bad. So I might have to end up buying some waterproof sealant to go on it, which kind of sucks. That's something I was not planning on, and now that might hold me back from getting my pet when I want to. We'll see. I'm gonna try to go as early as I can tomorrow and spray it down so that it can get aired out before I get my pet. Um, and I hope it doesn't take a full day because that'd be so sad. Okay, so I ended up going to the store tonight instead of tomorrow because I just can't wait and I don't wanna do it tomorrow morning. So I got the waterproof spray to put on the inside and I removed the glass. So I'm gonna spray this tonight and let it air out the whole night and have a fan running on it. And I'm gonna make sure that the spray is just a light coat um, and that by tomorrow morning it doesn't smell because I don't wanna like toxicate my animal. <laughs> Guys, I am so sad. <laughs> so it's the next day. We literally just woke up and went to put the stand up because I've been so excited. I had more dreams about my pet last night. So I was like, let's just set this all up, get it ready to go so we can go get it. And guess what? The stand came broken in the mail. This one piece was snapped in half. So obviously we can't build it if it's snapped in half. And so I ordered replacement parts that just come for free um, because it came defective and uh, it won't get here to the end of the month. So now I don't want to wait till the end of the month to get my pet. So instead we're going to try to figure out a different way, a temporary stand for my terrarium to sit on. It might either be our, dr our dresser in our bedroom because I think it might be long enough and wide enough we'll have to check if not we might have to borrow just like a normal table or a pop-up table or something else for it to stand on because i don't want to wait weeks until that piece comes so i'm sort of running into some issues which have caused me such a big headache <laughs> i swear it's one thing after the next that like has problems and i think it's just because i'm very new to this so once again please if you have this pet or something similar to it give me some tips down below i'm trying my best but in the meantime we've decided to put the terrarium right on our dresser while um the actual stand part comes in and i'm trying to uh, fixate the uvb bulb and the heat lamp and they're not they won't fit in the same place like let me show you. So this is the top of the enclosure. Now the width is not long enough for this thing to rest on the mesh along with the UVB bulb. And so what I have to do is jerry-rig this stand right here so that this heat lamp hovers above the enclosure. And it's very sketchy, guys. Like it is on the ledge of my window. <laughs> and I have to put this thing up on the window so it's 
it's very sketchy, but I'm trying to map out where I want everything. I think I want this to be where the basking rock is. So it needs to be by the heat lamp. And then I'm having the UVB be right here. Now I'm not sure if this is the best place for it or not, or if I should move it back more. I just want the heat lamp to overheat the bulb thing itself. So right now it's right here. So that's what it looks like. Um, and then I just put these things inside because I just want to kind of map out where I want them before I actually place them in there. Oh, I have no idea, guys. I am literally trying so hard to get this right. Um, but I think that's what it's going to be. All right, I think I got the terrarium all set up. So this is my little house tour, I guess. So this is the terrarium. If you guys are wondering, this is like a plastic wood compo polymer composite blend or whatever. So it's a little bit different than your classic full on glass terrariums. So I just gotta keep that in mind when I'm trying to decorate and stuff. <laughs> Cause suction cups don't work with this. So for my bedding for now, um, I know substrate is a hot topic in this uh, community. Uh, but for beginners, they recommend paper towels or uh, magazines or newspapers. So that's what I'm doing just for now because it's the easiest to clean up and it won't cause any problems. And it doesn't look the best, but I'm just starting out, okay? <laughs> Over here we have the basking rock, like I said, with its little hideout. And we have this um, heating lamp over it. Now, the temperature over here needs to be between, I think, 95 to 110. And I have this dimmable switch that I can turn up or down the heat if needed. Over here is the UVB lamp. So this side of the trim is going to be a little bit colder than this side because this animal needs both a cool and a warm side because it lives in the desert. And so this one um, is about 75 degrees. I have a couple of bowls in here and I just made a little salad for it. This is a uh, Swiss chard and carrots. And the temperature needs to be between 30 to 40 percent. Now we're almost at 40 percent. So I'm a little iffy if I want to fill the water bowl up with water because I know it will increase the humidity. And uh, I don't know. I've heard mixed things about water too. A lot of people say that this animal will not drink from its water bowl because it can't see still water. It has to be moving. And it gets a lot of its water from its salad that it eats and the bugs that it has. So we're gonna see, we're gonna fill it out. Um, but I have some other cool things. We have this little hanging thing up here so it can like climb up by the UVB if it needs more of that. I think I'm gonna buy a ladder so it can climb up on it easier, especially as a baby. Um, and yeah, we just have a few other decorations. I think I'll spice this up a little bit more, but this is just my little beginner. So I'm gonna stick this in here and we're gonna go pick up my pet and I'm gonna reveal what kind of pet I'm getting. So drum roll, please. All right, my very first pet is a bearded dragon. There's so many times in this video that I want to say beardy and I had to keep saying pet or animal. It was so hard to keep it a secret. But I'm getting a bearded dragon and I'm so excited. Like Spencer can tell you, I've been like just dying to get, oh, I just want it right now. But how to get everything set up first. So anyways, I'm gonna put this in its little terrarium and we're gonna go pick it up. Oh, I'm so nervous. Here they are. So this is the fancy bearded dragon, which tends to have less scales and is redder in color. And then, I don't know where these ones, oh, wait, it it's literally right blends in. <laughs> so these ones are just normal ones. Where's this one? Oh, it's hiding in the back corner. Oh, and it's back in there. They're so cute. <laughs> we got him! Oh, he's in this tiny container. I wondered how they were gonna transport him. They just put him inside this tiny little cup. But he's probably so scared and like wondering what is going on. So because of that, because he's going to a brand new terrarium and he's only been in the pet store for one day, I am not going to handle them at all for like a week because I don't want to scare him even more. I want to make this a little better of an experience. So transporting him home and yeah, I'm so excited. 
I still don't know what its name is going to be, but I'll probably have that in a different video. But also, if you guys have name suggestions, comment them down below. We're home now. And, oh. It's bigger than you think it would be. So we got a few things from PetSmart while we were there. One thing that we um, need to get was a ceramic heat emitter. I did have a heating pad. I think, I don't know if I told this. I think I did. Anyways, we returned it because I it wouldn't work with our terrarium. So instead, we got this because it needs heat at night. And I don't know if our cage can regulate the temperature it needs at night because all the lights will be off. We bought a climbing ladder for it to get to the top uh, little hanging thing in our terrarium. And I saw this and I was like, okay, we have to get this. <laughs> it was meant for an aquarium, like for fish, but anything that's for an aquarium can fit in a terrarium, but not the other way around. All right, it's all ready for him to go in. We got the heat emitter jankly set up. <laughs> <laughs> it's this thing is not strong enough for it, but somehow since we got it to work, so it's not the prettiest look. But literally, I don't know how else people do it. Like I don't know. So now we're gonna put little beauty. Oh, he's so ready. He's so ready to go into his yeah. house. Ready, little buddy. Go. He's like what? <laughs> He probably doesn't know what to do. You might just want to leave that in there until he feels comfortable enough to kind of come out on his own. Okay, I'll just oh, leave it right play. here. He's so stinking cute. Oh, it's so cute. Look at my little baby. He lo he's looking at us. Oh, he's tilting his head. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this video. I will make more videos about my baby beardy though. And I think I'll make a video about like, um, how our first week went with him and then also slowly starting to handle him and just take things at a slow pace Also a name reveal once we figure that out and a gender reveal which will go will be way in the future guys But yeah, I'm just gonna let him explore his little area, but that's gonna be it for today I hope you enjoyed watching this and give us some name suggestions in the comments down below. I'll see y'all later. Bye